The Love Grow Flyover is one of the most important links connecting South Mumbai to the mainland. This 613 meter long flyover built in 2002 on Dr. Annie Besant Road has 11 pre-stressed girder spans and 3 box girder spans. In uh, March 21, we noticed there are some cracks in the girders and to have a smooth topic or any mishap to avoid such incidents we appointed IIT for this place to carry out the structural audit. This brought to light a serious issue. The bearings were getting jammed, hence the energy absorption and damping were not happening which reflected as cracks on the girders above the pedestal. Faulty bearings were the root cause of distress. But for bearings to be replaced, the superstructure must be made fit for jacking and lifting. Cracks were opened, sealed with M50 grade adhesive and treated by pressure grouting. Each pre-stressed girder was strengthened with two post-tensioned SRM C lamp carbon laminates. Parallel to these, a couple of non-pre-stressed laminates were also provided laterally on each girder. Over the supports of continuous bands of pre-stressed girders, three carbon fiber laminates were provided on lateral faces across the direction of crack. These were then wrapped with unidirectional carbon fiber for bonding and shear resistance. To strengthen the bridge deck from bottom face, 6 mm carbon FRP bars were applied, interspaced with carbon laminates, with fiber direction parallel to main rebars. Over these, carbon laminates were provided at 90 degrees to act like distribution bars. The box girders were strengthened in a similar fashion from the interiors. This concluded the strengthening activity. Now, the bearing issue can be attended. For bearing replacement, seven continuous bands weighing 200 tons each must be lifted at once using hydraulic jacks in a sequential manner. Total lift of 120 to 150 mm was attained in four separate lifts. On a Friday night, after rerouting the traffic, the first lift of seven continuous bands was initiated. Upon reaching full height, the spans were stabilized and old bearings were disengaged. Pedestals were then grinded to level and made suitable for the new, near frictionless spherical bearings. The pre assembled spherical bearings were then hoisted and installed in place. Then the bridge was lowered on the new bearings, ensuring perfect level riding surface. Sandarshana has done many retrofitting projects, but strengthening of Laguru Bridge was a little bit different. We need to lift all the seven span together. And again, it was a COVID time, so we need to take care of our manpower and our resources. In five weekends, 51 bearings were replaced and anti-carbonation coating was done. Further, decorative painting of the bridge was taken up by the indigenous transgender artists of Maharashtra. Sandrachna has dedicatedly worked and uh, strengthened this bridge. In the same way, with the same enthusiasm and love, we have colored the pillars of this bridge. Thank you. Even after all this odd situation, IIT, Sarachna, and Tapi Police, and MSRBC act together as a team and we are completely successful in this bridge and now it is open for the time. An important bridge in the heart of Mumbai is now back to life in style. Sanrachna, leaders of structural retrofitting.